We do, and they're so playful, the little babies. They're pushing each other around, and it's all just lots of play at this time of the day. It's now because it's getting cooler, and it's not so hot like it was during the middle of the day. Now it's time to play, particularly if you're a baby elephant. It's time to push each other around and have a really good game. So there you can see them kind of going off into the distance. So, Anthony, you want to know how fast baby elephants grow? Well, Anthony, not too fast. Um, elephants take quite a while. This little baby elephant that you see right here is already probably getting close to a year and a half old now. So it's quite old already, and they take a long time to grow because they get so big. So it's not like us as people. We grow quite fast because our general body size is not that big. So it takes a long time for an elephant to get very big. Now, his mom, which is the elephant just to the left, there she is, she's probably now already about 16 17 years old and they'll still get much much bigger than that so she's probably this is her first baby that she's had she will have had it's probably around sort of 12 to 14 years old because that's when they first start to breed the males will only start kind of getting involved when they get a little bit older in their mid-20s so this is still a very small elephant and a very young elephant they're gonna get much larger and much bigger and that's why they grow slowly is because of how big they are So, Jeremiah, you're wondering how long is this baby's trunk? Well, well, the baby's trunks in general. Well, Jeremiah, it's dependent on each individual. It's like us. Everybody has got different length arms. So if you go and measure your arm with your friend, you'll see that one of you will have arms slightly longer or shorter than the other one. And it's the same with the elephants. Every elephant's trunk is slightly longer or shorter. And so, but just on average, I would say the elephants, the baby elephants, their trunks must only be when they're very small like this little baby, probably only about maybe one and a half to two feet long. It's very, very small still. And that baby elephant will still grow, especially if it's a male, he's going to get much, much bigger to the point where his trunk will be seven, eight feet long. So it's got a long way to go at this stage. I need to just try and pull that around. But look at how they're eating. Now this is the time of the day where it's best for elephants to eat because it's now also like I was saying, the sun has gone down so it's nice and cool and they don't have to worry about predators. Ah, Duncan, you want to know how many times a day will an elephant eat? Well, Duncan, they eat all day they don't have any time of day that they stop eating and the reason why is because elephants eat so much food a big adult male elephant like we were talking about earlier he's going to be eating close to 600 pounds a day can you imagine trying to eat 600 pounds of food a day it's really so so much and the females they'll eat as much as 400 pounds a day so they have to eat all day long to be able to get enough food to be able to feed their body. Let's also remember that elephants are very large animals and so it takes a long time to be able to make them full and so that's why they have to spend all day looking for food. Also what they're eating doesn't weigh very much so if you've gone and you pick up some grass go outside today and try and grab a handful of grass and feel how heavy that grass is. Can you imagine now having to go and find 600 pounds of that grass how long it's going to take you to collect that and that's why the elephants have to feed for so long. Also look at how well the elephants blend in so even though the elephants are right there in the corner and you can see the ear moving it's so difficult to see them at night it's really very very hard and that's why you've got to be careful at night of elephants and why people are very scared of elephants at night so sean elephants can't see in the dark they are like us as people when it gets dark they battle their eyes are very similar to ours ion is their sense of smell and their sense of hearing so they can hear very well with those big ears and their trunk can pick up small scent and it can be able to tell them what's going on is there a lion is there a leopard is there hyenas is there other elephants and they'll be able to listen and smell what's going on rather than seeing what's going on when it gets dark the elephant's eyesight becomes just like ours where we can't see too well at all you can see that elephant almost looks as though it's going to start scratching itself on the tree
So Josiah, you're wondering what animals will eat an elephant? Well, Josiah, the animals that eat elephants are pretty much only the lions. So the hyenas will try sometimes for the babies and so will leopard. But because the babies are never on their own, they always have these big adults with them, it becomes very difficult for the adult, for those animals to kill a, a, a elephant. But lions sometimes will hunt elephants and they can do it quite well. So that's really the only one other than man. Unfortunately, people in areas of Africa where the Elephants are sort of in close to communities and villages. The, unfortunately, the elephants get killed by people. So their number one predator is people, and second behind that is lions. Now, our elephants are moving away from us, and it is getting dark, and I don't want to stress them. So I'm probably going to try and leave the elephants now. We are in a bit of a thicket. And